So this is where we left off. Uh, we had the projectile and uh, the tower breaking up. But uh, the problem is before the projectile or the cannonball hits uh, the tower, you can see the bricks uh, have already started moving. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, you can see there are a few gaps in our bricks that uh, just a result of using the array system and not being too careful when laying these apart uh, so that there is no gap between and even it doesn't matter how careful you are trying to be uh, it's very hard to get rid of uh, that those gaps but uh, they are not very visible from uh, this angle so it doesn't really it shouldn't really matter but uh, the problem is when we play back uh, the tower falls up falls apart uh, just as a result of gravity so we want to avoid that or stop that from happening so what we can do is uh, just select everything, select all the bricks. So I'll just select this, hide, first hide the tower, first hide the ground, select all the bricks. And make sure you have at least one active brick, uh, meaning that uh, it's, it should have a different shade of orange, uh, so a, or a lighter orange, I like that. So that is an active uh, brick element. And so that we can access is uh, rigid body system uh, setting so if we go under the rigid body system under dynamic you have a setting called dynamic and uh, you also have a setting called activate so if you hit deactivate and uh, open its settings you can see we have another option start deactivated deactivate just means that uh, blender should uh, can deactivate the the simulation after uh, after a few seconds so for example let me first dis uh, disable this if i hit this after this, the simulation takes place you can see that uh, these bricks start settling down you can see how that step stopped moving and i stopped moving uh sometimes they might appear like they have stopped moving but uh, still continue uh, move, having some set of movement uh, that can also increase your computation power especially if you have a lot of uh, rigid body objects in your scene so this deactivation feature just means that uh, blender will deactivate any slight movements or movements that are not that big so for example you see how this brick rotates a few seconds after it settles before it settles so it can bounce around like that for maybe a minute or two before it's comp it completely it completely settles down so this deactivation feature just enable just makes it settle faster or earlier than it would normally do uh, so that it can reduce down uh, the computation power it uh, blender needs uh, your computer needs to uh, compute that uh, that motion so it's just a cutoff uh, setting or cutoff value. So we can set that to cut off any movement after the simulation or as the simulation is coming to, a, to an end so that the simulation ends uh, faster. So it won't, it won't cut off a uh, movement that is high enough. So for example, it won't cut off uh, the movement of this brick falling down. It will only cut it off when uh, the movement is starting to reduce down especially if it's not uh, that noticeable so you can see that uh, this brick wiggles around for a few times before it settles down so instead of wiggling around say 10 times it will just cut it down to about uh, two times or three times so that's the the activation feature uh, but there's also start deactivated if we have this on if you have any movement say this, this falling down of the bricks without any objects colliding with uh, with those bricks it will just cut it off so instead of the bricks falling down uh, before any any objects it's basically telling the bricks to not have any movement before any other objects collide with it collide uh, with them so and uh I just set this the activate and activate for only a single object that's why you see that uh, nothing has happened yet uh, but uh, if you select all the bricks and make sure you have at least one active 
brick then right click the activate copy to select it meaning that it will copy this act deactivate setting to the rest of the bricks you can see now all the other bricks have that setting so let's do this again so that we copy over the start activated you can see right now they don't have so let's just copy that over let's set this and then copy select it so that all the other bricks don't have it now you can see that uh, if i play back that doesn't happen until the the tower doesn't start falling up until the cannon hits it let's see so the bricks start uh, the, ta the tower start falling only after uh, the the, uh, the cannon hits it so if you want to get rid of that bouncing uh, those uh, that kind of spring effect going on you would have to come in and uh, reduce or whenever you, when you're duplicating these bricks you would have to reduce the gaps between that those bricks so that they don't fall like that or oh, another thing you could do is uh, play with uh, if you, you can play with the collision shape I haven't we haven't got there that maybe we can look at that in the next lesson so yeah thank you